course. Do you have them? Do you know somebody who does have them? Odds are your person is in discomfort if they have a corn. I'm excited to show you guys this. It is a corn removal. What's really fun is when I try to educate my clients on what they are and they're like, no, it's fine. It's not a callus. I'm like, yeah, it is. Actually, what a corn is, it is like a triangle cone shape. So think of like a triangle or an ice cream cone and that callus is actually has a tip, it has a core. And what we gotta do is we have to take a corn removal bit and actually get in there and break up the callus. If you guys have been checking out this channel or you're brand new, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And now let's start digging out this corn. You often see corns on the metatorsal support right here in the foot. And the reason for that is because this is a high impact. So the foot is constantly hitting in this spot, building up this callus. So two types of corn bits, and I also like for a larger corn is using our sphere debulking. What I'm gonna do, because these are a little larger, is I'm going to get in there and grab it. Because these are a larger corn, I'm gonna just go straight to my sphere and start debulking, okay? What I don't wanna do is when it's an itty bitty corn is to use this bit because it would be grabbing too much of the soft skin, but since it's surrounded by callus, I'm good to go. When we're working with carbide, make sure you increase your RPMs. So I am working in the forward direction at 24,000 RPMs. So at 24,000 RPMs, I'm gonna hold the foot tight and I see that I have two corns right here. I'm gonna start with this one and I'm literally just like tapping, tap, 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 opening it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one as well. Tap, tap, tap. And you can see how just removing that top callus part, how much more defined those corns are. That is why I started with a larger tool versus something like this. Cause I would be taking a lot more time if I was using the small corn bit. So time is money, still have them out. Your client might feel some discomfort, but it's gonna feel bad before it feels good. And I'm just tapping in that area because this carbide is re is quickly debulking. If my client is feeling any warmth, I'm gonna tell them to let me know. Now that my client has felt a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna go in there with my smaller corn removal bit. There's a large and a small size, just depending you're gonna grab how large the corn is. I'm gonna use the large corn bit and I see where you see that white, I'm going to just tap, 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 just like that. Remember, speed is your friend. So I'm running at least 20,000 RPMs and just tapping it on that white part. And I'm gonna ask my client, remind, tell me if it gets warm. I'm gonna make that tight so I can see. Perfect, opening that up making it tight and just breaking up that callus. I can actually like feel it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I literally am just tapping and I'm allowing the sphere just kind of like craving, like just kind of letting it hug the bit. Okay. And just kind of opening up that skin and breaking it down. All right. Little corn, come out, come out. I am looking for that whiteness. So it looks like I pretty much got it on top. I feel in. Okay. Perfect. And we wanna do this dry because we want the skin to flake off. We don't want it to be wet where it's gonna tear because of the moisture. And I think we're all set. I think we got it. So now that I have, and you can see that I have removed the corn. Look at that. We are looking tight. See how there's no more whiteness. That means we have been able to successfully move the corn. Now I'm gonna go ahead since I have this raised hard skin up here. So as I have been using the bit, I've been turning the skin up and reducing it. I'm now, since there's some other callus, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my diamond skin bit. All right, speed is our friend. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up. I know there's a big callus right here, so I'm just gonna soften this area. And this is when it's a really good idea to be wearing a cap, having some kind of vacuum system, not breathing in all these dead skin cells, like I am. YouTube, I love you. I'm doing this for you. And we wanna keep the bit parallel as we are just allowing the bit 
to exfoliate this area. You can put a callus softener on before that, but just be sure to rub it in so it doesn't gunk the bit. I don't recommend using a callus softener when you are removing the corns because we want the skin to be really flaky and a softener is going to use moisture. All right, now that I've smoothed out the skin right here, I'm gonna continue to move my diamond burr around the foot and just exfoliate the skin, getting that dead skin off, using as much of the barrel as I can, circular motions. If your client is ticklish, that's okay. Just make sure you grab the foot and pull it back. And now that I've just successfully exfoliated the skin and removed that corn, I'm gonna use my Poto Expert Dry Crack Skin and moisturize the foot. I love this product because it's not occlusive. Anybody in my chair can use it. I can use it in between the toes. I can use it on my diabetics. It doesn't leave a greasy residue. And what I love the most is it is FDA cleared. So what that means is it actually repairs the skin, which is exactly what I want for my client. And it feels good. All right, guys, that's a wrap. This, this skin is supple. It can actually move now. It's nice and pink and silky and well hydrated. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do a retail, of course, because we want to continue to maintain the health and integrity of her skin. So what does that mean? I am going to sell her and encourage her to take care of her feet by selling the Poto Expert Dry and Crack Skin Foot Mousse. All right, hope you enjoyed this. If you have corns or are removing corns, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below.